Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome to my another video on Android app development So guys in this video I will show you how to create notifications or how to generate the notifications in your Android application Alright So in this part I will be showing you the basics of notification service in Android Okay And in my part 2 of the video I will be showing you how to create the custom notifications in your Android activity all right so let's get started so guys as you guys can see we have this project all right so now what we will do first of all the user will, the user will click the button and on the button click the notification will be generated all right so here we have this button so go to our main activity and here first of all what we need is a notification compact builder so we can say notification compact dot builder and we name it as notification all right all right so uh, another thing which we will be requiring is the unique id for example uh, let me show you okay so if we go there notification in Android okay so uh, when we open the notification okay so here you can see there are many notifications okay so when uh, for every notification has a unique ID okay so so we can distinguish it with others let's say this notification the big meeting has a unique id one this one two three four five six all right so so what we can do here we can set public final int unique id and we set it as one two three four five or you can say six okay so this will be, will be the unique id so now what we need to do is we need to initialize the uh, the notification builder so we can say notification equals to new notification compact dot builder and in here we need to provide current reference okay and the next thing is we can set set auto cancel okay so now when the user click on the notification it should uh, it should be uh, removed from that or not so we can say set auto cancel and pass true here okay so let's create another button method for button click so we can say public void generate notification all right so here we can have the properties of our notification so we can say notification dots the first of all the it set small icon okay so we can set an icon so here we uh, currently we have this icon ic launcher so we can say r dot mip map dot ic launcher all right and we can also say notification dot set ticker and so this sticker is uh, it will show the time when the notification is created okay so for that we can say system dot current time in millis okay so now sorry guys ticker will be the text which will be shown so we can say this is a ticker okay and we can say notification dot set when so here we can have system dot current time in millis okay so it will show the time on which the notification is just generated and the next thing is notification dot set content title here we can say my app okay and notification dot set content text we can say this is my notification all right so 
whenever the user clicks on any notification or this notification we need to open this activity okay in this case we have this single activity so we can open it so first of all we can initialize our intent so we can say intent this an activity dot class okay and uh, now what we need is uh, so we need the system to open this activity okay so we have to use pending intent i will teach you uh, in my other video that what are pending intents okay so here we have pending intent equals to pending intent dot get activity and in here we have to pass this and we need to set the flag zero and we also need to pass intent and we also here need to say pending intent dot flag update current all right so now what we can do we need to set this pending intent so we can say notification dot set content intent and in here we can pass this pending intent all right and now we need to build the notification all right so now what we can do notification manager mm equals to notification manager and get system service and we can say notification service all right and finally we can say nm dot notify and in here we need to pass this unique id so we can say unique id and the second thing is notification dot build all right so now the call is completed so we need to set the on click method so we can say So let me connect my phone. So uh, let me open side sync so that I show you the output of my app. Let's connect our smartphone. All right. So now we have this. So now let's run the core application. okay so now if we click on the button as you guys can see we have this notification my app all right so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye